In this video, we'll demonstrate how to install the Rhino Rack tray and backbone system to a Polaris Ranger. Before commencing, refer to the instruction manual and cross-check all components are supplied for both the tray and the backbone system. Step one is to assemble the Rhino Rack tray. With the side extrusions facing down, insert the corner mouldings into the short extrusions first. Insert the front and rear extrusions and secure with the supplied 25mm fasteners and torque tool. Next, position the planks so that each line up under the front and rear extrusions. Secure with the supplied 25mm fasteners and torque tool. Add the cover caps and secure with the supplied 12mm fasteners and torque tool. Ensure that the tabs on the top side of the cover cap is sitting correctly under the lip of the extrusion channels. Next, place the underbar into position and secure with the supplied 25mm fasteners and torque tool. The tool will click when the required torque is achieved. Step 2 is to assemble the backbone system to the Ranger. Carefully remove the inner roof lining of the Ranger with the recommended tools. Start with the rear section first, then the front. Keep all plastic clips and bolts together in a safe place, ready for reassembly later. Next, with the left hand rear internal bracket, connect the bracket clamp to the underside with the supplied bolt. With it loosely assembled, insert the bracket to the rear left side of the vehicle frame. Align the notch on the bracket with the hole in the frame, then secure with a torque wrench. Carefully drill a pilot hole using a 6mm drill bit. Take care to not damage the threads in the clinch nuts. Remove the bracket and open the hole further using a 9mm drill bit. Clear away any debris and reassemble the bracket securely to the roof frame. Repeat the same process on the right side. Next, insert the left hand front internal bracket to the ceiling crossbar and secure finger tight with the supplied bolt. With the bracket flush to the roof line, carefully drill a pilot hole using a 6mm drill bit. Take care to not damage the threads in the clinch nuts. Remove the bracket and open the hole further using a 9mm drill bit. Clear away any debris and reassemble the bracket to the ceiling crossbar. Repeat the same process on the right side. Next, with the left backbone in hand, carefully position along the roof line with the Rhino Rack logo towards the front of the vehicle. Secure finger tight, firstly at the front, then at the back using the supplied bolts. Adjust the backbone so that the centre hole is directly above the centre roll bar. When in the correct position, mark the centre hole with a pencil. Then, unbolt and remove the backbone. With the centre now marked, carefully drill a 9mm hole through the roof. On the inside, position the centre mount bracket over the centre roll bar and secure finger tight with the supplied U-bolts and nuts. When firmly in place, reassemble the backbone at the front and rear. With the backbone loose, insert the middle bolt to the centre mount bracket and adjust so it's even over the roll bar. Secure tight, as well as all other bolts on the backbone. Repeat the same process on the right side of the vehicle. With the backbone now firmly in place, secure the Rhino Rack tray with the supplied 12mm fasteners and torque tool. Once complete, refit the ceiling lining. Now, your Rhino Rack tray and backbone is ready for use.